hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can simply get started with the wordpress on your mac os so the first thing is you just need to download jamp onto your mac os so if you haven't installed jamp onto your mac os so i have got separate video for that you can just check out on the description so once you install jamp so you just need to start the server so for that just go into the launch pad and just go into this jamp and you can just see this manager osx so just simply click on that and enter the password of your mac so this will open this application manager so just simply click onto this uh, manage server so here you can see mysql and apache web server so you just click on uh, start all so this will start the mysql database server and apache web server so here you can see the mysql database and apache web server are running so just go into your favorite browser and just simply search for download wordpress and just download the wordpress from this wordpress.org so just simply click on wordpress.org and here you can see the option for downloading the wordpress so just click on this download wordpress and save wherever you want so let me just click on save so once this zip file is downloaded let me just go into the finder and now if i just double click onto this zip file so this will extract this wordpress so just copy this uh, extracted file so let me just simply copy this one and if you just go into the application and if you just scroll down so you can see this jam so if you have installed jam so this will definitely appear here into this applications so just go inside this jam and just go inside the sd docs and just paste inside there so just paste inside here so once you paste inside this uh, SD doc, so just go into the browser and just type localhost and just click enter. So this will open this kind of uh, interface. So just click onto this PSP my admin and here you just, you just need to make the MySQL database. So just simply click on new and just give the database name something like wordpress and just click and create so this will create the database with the name wordpress so now just go into the new tab and just type localhost slash wordpress so which is the name of the folder which we have just downloaded and extracted so let me just click enter so this will open the uh, wordpress installer so let me just click on let's go so you can just give the database name uh, wordpress which we have just created the name of the database which we have created is wordpress and the default username of the database is root and the password is blank so you don't need to do anything and if you just click on submit so this will show unable to write the wp config file so what you need to do is you just need to simply select from here so just select and you just need to simply copy this so just copy from here and what you need to do is you just need to go inside the finder and so if you just go inside the wordpress so you will be able to find this wp config sample dot psp so just right click this one and just open with vs code so you can just edit with any other editor as well so you can just simply clear this and just paste which we have just copied so now if you just save and again go to the finder and so you just need to uh, change this name into the uh, wp config only so you can just right click and click and rename so just type wp hyphen config and just click enter so once you do that so again go to the browser and if i just click on run installation so this will open this welcome page so you can just now give the uh, title name something like code with arjun and just give the username something like arjun and you can just give the uh, keep the default password or you can just type the password something like arjun123 and so i will use the weak password so in your case so you, you can just use the strong password as well and just give the email and just click on install wordpress so here just simply click on login and just uh, write the same username and password which we have just given so in my case arjun123 so you just need to give your username and password and just click on login so this will now open the uh, wordpress dashboard so you can see the wp admin page here so once this is done so now to install the theme so you can just simply click on uh, appearance and click on themes and so so by default so you can see so this is uh 2024 20, is by default it is active so now if i just type localhost slash wordpress so you can see so by default so this is our website uh, which is given by the wordpress so you can just install the other beautiful themes as well so just click onto this appearance themes and click on add new theme 
so you can just choose any popular themes like Astra, so which is quite beautiful theme to uh, get started with. So you can just simply click on install. So if you just click on install, so this will show some error like this. So to fix this error, so again open this wp-config file, so which we have just uh, renamed. So just open with the VS Code. So you can see, so this WP config sample was renamed into this file. So just open this one. So at the bottom, so you just need to simply type define and just open the parenthesis here and just type fs underscore method. So just type method and here again open the code here and just type direct. And also don't forget to give the semicolon here. And if you just save this and again go to the browser here and try to install this extra. So this won't show that uh, FTP error, but this will show this new error. This is called could not create the directory. So to fix this error, so what we can do is again go to the finder and again go into this sddocs. So let me just go into the sddocs and you can just right click onto this sddocs here. And if you just go at the bottom here, so you can see uh, new terminal at the folder. So just simply click into this new terminal at folder. So you might get the option of services. So just go inside that services. So you will get the same options. So inside this sddoc, so what you need to type is just simply type sudo and just type ch mode and just type hyphen and capital R and just type 777 and you just need to give the name of the uh, WordPress so uh, which is WordPress in our case so if you have given the different name so just type that and just click enter so this will ask for the password of your Mac so just simply enter the password of your Mac so now this should work so now if I just uh, reload this so let me just reload this one and again try to install this extra theme so this should now definitely work so just click on install so here you can see, so this has installed the extra successfully. So now to activate this theme, you can just simply click on activate. So this will activate this extra theme. So you can just simply uh, customize this. So just click on customize here. And if you just click on publish, so this will publish the page. And if I just go into the uh, localhost slash WordPress and just click enter. So this was the original theme. So if I just click on enter, so this will now change this into the extra theme. So you can see. So now you can edit this uh, theme and make it your own. So to do that, you can just simply click into this edit page. And here, so if I just type uh, something like, so let me just clear this one and let me just type something like code with Arjun and you can just simply clear this and just type uh, programming YouTube channel and you can just change this into something like visit my YouTube and if I just click on update and let me just click on here to view the page so you can see so it has already changed this into code with version and the text which I have provided. So this is how you can get started with the WordPress on your Mac OS and also create your first website using WordPress. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.